Hey guys, we're gonna graph number 10, but I don't like the way it says it, so I want you guys to cross out that H right there. Uh, cross this out and just say, um, we're gonna go right pi, and then we're going to go cross out this K right here and say up two. Okay, can you guys write me an equation? For sine that is shifted to the right pi and then up two. So it would look like this y equals sine x minus pi up two. Okay, so right here on sine, you see where we start. I, I use that starting point, and I shift the starting point. So, what is our shift? It looks like the period is the same, the amplitude is the same, so those don't change, but we do go to the right pi. So, I'm going to take this point right here. I'm going to go over to this pi right here. So, now, now we're right here. And then, and then what, we're, what are we supposed to do? Go up two. So this is where my point is now. It's right here. That's where your midline is. I like to draw my midline. You don't have to want to draw a midline, I suppose, but it really helps me out because I'm a visual learner. And then you graph it from there. Okay, now we know our period is 2 pi because our period doesn't change. So if I'm at pi and I add 2 pi, what number would I be at? 3 pi. 3 pi. So this is our end right here. Guys, remember, we need five points to graph a cycle for a sine. What's our middle? Right here. And then we have this part and this part. Okay, so from this point, what is our next point? Where's our next point going to be? Is it going to be the max or is it going to be a min? It's going to be a max. And what's my amplitude? It is one. So we got to make sure we go up to the one which would be 3, so we go up 1, and then we go back to the x-axis, right? And then where are we going to go for this one? Our, minim our minimum, which is down 1. So I'm going to go down to 1 right there, and I go back to the x-axis, so my graph looks something like this. Do you have to connect it to the y-axis? Uh, yeah, we got to go backwards. Okay, so now let's do our points this way. Uh, our next, um, our next x-axis is right here. So where where are we gonna go for this one? Down one. So we're gonna put a point right here, and then we go back up to the x-axis. So we go like this, and we can actually go one more right here, which would be up to the max, and that's how you graph it.